What's going on guys? Sean over at Jaguar Power Sports and we just had the city of Jacksonville here on site to cite us for our military flags. That's right. We just got a ticket in the city of Jacksonville, military bound city for flying military flags. They cited us for every flag because they were mad that we had the flying flags up top of the building. Not only that, we had customers in store at that time. A lady by the name of Melinda Power that works for the city of Jacksonville, Jacksonville Regulatory Compliance Department said to one of our customers in store, because he was questioning on it because he was shot three times at war. He says to her in the store, or she says to him in the store, you did nothing for our country. This is a military vet that was shot in store, says to them, live in our store, that you've done nothing for our country. The city of Jacksonville is citing local businesses with all the other crap going on around town. They're citing us, the business owner, for flying military flags in a military town. They told us to take them down or go to court over it. Are you serious right now? And then has the nerve and audacity to tell our military vet in our store, that's our customer, you've done nothing for our country. How do you think that went over well? I need everyone to share this video because this is absolutely ludicrous that city officials by the name of Melinda Power and her compliance manager, Charles Sanders, would actually get away with this type of crap that's going on in the city of Jacksonville. And I am furious. There is one thing I'm not going to tolerate. And the one thing is dealing with this kind of disrespect in the military town. If you're in the military or if you're not, share this video. We need to get this viral because the city of Jacksonville, News for Jacks, all these Channel 4 websites, there's enough bad going on in the city that the amount of crap that we're dealing with, these flags that are flying overhead should not be the problem. We should not be getting cited and ticketed for flags for representing our country. But I can tell you one thing. This isn't the end. I'm not going to go to court over this, and I can guarantee that this will go viral. So share with all your local news channels. Let's get this thing viral. But the city of Jacksonville is citing local businesses for flags and military American flags. Are you serious? And then they're going to have the audacity to come into our military vet run store and pretty much say that you've done nothing for our country. How do they get away with this stuff? Please share this video. Help us out. If you have any questions, give us a call 904-693-1663. But please call your local local court enfor code enforcement and call the mayor. But this is ridiculous. Help us out. There's no reason that we should have to take these down. There's plenty of bad going on that you don't need to be picking on the small guys about a flag. If you guys have any questions, give us a call 904-693-1663. But this is not the end. So Miss Melinda Power, little old lady that has just angry in life, it's on. You don't, you don't sit there and mess with local businesses and tell customers that you've done nothing for our country. Come on, really?